Hello everybody. Today I want to tell you about my secret. It's a little advantage that I have over most other developers. When watching my other videos, you may have asked yourself the question, how is it possible that I'm building these web and mobile apps so quickly? I mean, I've coded a product inquiry app from scratch in just a few minutes with these five lines of code. And you saw me create a product listing from scratch in just three lines of code. Whereas traditionally, if you think about it, you'd be looking at writing hundreds of lines of code to do the same thing. Code that is both client-side and server-side, and it may even require multiple people or multiple teams of people with different skills to develop. Now granted, some of my demos are quick, simple examples, but still, three lines of code and just a few minutes to build a fully functional app. Are you kidding me? Well, let me explain what's going on. When you're building applications traditionally, and that's even when you're using some of the most leading frameworks out there, you're starting out with a blank slate. Or another way to look at it is that the framework is generic, or you have to meld multiple frameworks together, client-side, server-side, etc., and use multiple technologies to get anything functional completed. So these raw frameworks, as powerful as they may be for all kinds of purposes, they generally make little to no assumptions. They have no way of knowing if you're building a chat server, a game, maybe an algorithm to solve the Rubik's Cube, a machine learning engine, a messaging client, or a database application. And they also don't know your intention on how the user might interact with your application. So all of these decisions have to be made by the developer, and he or she has to have a lot of knowledge about a lot of different things to get things done the right way. Or even more likely, you need an entire development team that has various skills to get your task accomplished. Because you have to, at the very least, set up a database connection, configure or extend a web server or, or a server of some kind. You need that. You're going to need to figure out how the user is going to be signing in and how you handle persistence and keep track of sessions. And then you're going to need to code up a user interface. So now you're getting real heavy into HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Ajax. And that type of stuff goes along with all kinds of low-level web server communication concepts. So we're talking like things like post data and URL encoding and so forth. So there's quite a bit to it. And then, of course, for a realistic production application, you're going to need to create a logging system in case there's errors that occur. And you're going to need some mechanism to recover gracefully from those errors. And that's just the beginning. But wouldn't you rather just get down to coding the business logic already? Well, you may have noticed that in my other video examples, I haven't had to do any of those extra things. I didn't have to write hundreds of lines of code to implement the server, the UI, the authentication system, and so forth. I just wrote the few lines of code that represented the actual task or business logic that I needed to accomplish. So how did that happen? Well, the reason I was able to do so is because I used Profound.js. It's a framework specifically designed for one purpose and one purpose only, to build a database-driven transactional business application. Profound.js automatically assumes that you're building business applications where users are interacting with your enterprise data that's sitting in your database, and they're going to be doing this through a web or a mobile UI. So Profound.js just assumes that this is your application's primary purpose. So if that's not the case for you, if you're not building a business application, then I'm the first to tell you that Profound.js may not be the framework that you need. But if it is a database-driven business application that you're trying to build, then Profound.js is the perfect solution here because a number of assumptions are already made. Like the fact that you need a stable and a capable web server. So one that can serve mobile, web, and web services to many, many users. So Profound.js just ships with this capability. It's based on Express, which is the most widely used Node.js server technology out there today. Uh, but the important thing is that you're not going to be using Node.js completely from scratch or even Express from scratch to make all of this happen. Again, that's hundreds or maybe even thousands of lines of code for each application, and you're probably not too excited about writing this type of code. It's just simply too much work. Secondly, I bet you like to use one language for everything, and preferably a language that has lots of resources, lots of examples, lots of tutorials, and developers. That's important too, being able to find developers. So. Profound.js gives you that. It uses the most popular language that's out there today. That's JavaScript. And it's used for both server-side and any client-side logic that you may need. You also need to be able to debug, make changes, and deploy easily and quickly. And you want to do this without having to restart the server every time. So that's built in too. This is uh, something that's called hot reloading. And it's not something that you 
automatically get with most of the other frameworks, or if you were to do this from scratch. So it usually takes custom coding to implement this type of thing. But here, you get it built in. And of course, business applications also typically need some form of authentication and some form of session handling. And ProfoundJS has that covered too. That's just built in as well. Another thing that ProfoundJS assumes is that you might be dealing with business data and all of the appropriate data types that come along with it. So things like storing amounts and storing dates and timestamps. So ProfoundJS makes this very simple. It provides something called strong data types and you can use them as needed within your application. It also gives you user-friendly error reporting and login. Again, that's built in, so it's another thing that you don't have to build from scratch on your own. This next one is super exciting, so let me now talk about something very important that ProfoundJS offers. A friendly way to build user interfaces for both web and for mobile, and this without writing a lot of code. Actually, it's no code for most of your requirements, so ProfoundJS gives you a way to do this visually with a web-based Visual Designer. And along with that, ProfoundJS also gives you hundreds of pre-built widgets that are specifically designed for web and mobile business applications. So next, I know that most organizations are also seeking for an easy and direct way to call any of their existing application code, whether it's new business logic or older legacy logic written 20 plus years ago. And ProfoundJS provides those capabilities. It makes that very, very simple. And finally, I know that you want your applications to be simple, readable, self-documenting, and just easy to maintain. And ProfoundJS helps you there by eliminating the complexity of event-driven programming. So allowing you to handle events in a top-down transactional manner. And everything, by the way, is automatically a single-page application within ProfoundJS, which is considered the ideal for modern development. But it's so hard to build these single-page apps from scratch without the capabilities that ProfoundJS gives. So this, along with its simple top-down programming paradigm, makes developers just a lot more productive and it eliminates one of the most difficult aspects of Node.js and JavaScript programming, and that's callbacks and promises. So a concept that in the JavaScript community is referred to as callback hell or promises hell. And ultimately, it's the business that benefits the most. You can start developing applications that you never thought were possible within your organization because you get faster streamlined development at a fraction of the cost. So what used to be these endless expensive engagements to get a web or a mobile app off the ground is now a much simpler process. So you're building business apps that are easy to maintain, they use the most modern techniques and languages that are available for web and mobile. And what does that ultimately mean? It means you're future proofing your application. Meaning that with this approach, your code is less likely to become obsolete a few years from now. It's the best long-term investment that you can make because it saves you future headaches, future rewrites, and so forth. But I think one of the most ultimate benefits is that it becomes so much easier to find and bring on developers. So now the person you're looking for doesn't have to be this full-stack developer that knows everything about everything. And you're using a language that virtually all developers have already been exposed to. So ultimately, it's going to be much easier to find developers. And your company is literally going to be the envy of most developers. It's where developers are going to want to work and they're going to flock to your organization. And I've seen this personally many times at a lot of the companies that I've worked with. Everyone wants to work with exciting new technologies and be able to make an impact. And that's exactly what Profound allows you to do. So now that you've heard my message, my top secret is of course no longer a secret. So how is it that I get my applications built and deployed so fast? In many cases, it's as much as 10 times faster than some of my peers. Well, it's simple. I use ProfoundJS. Sure, it may not be the best at building interactive games or building, let's say, the next popular messaging app, but nothing beats it when it comes to business application development.